what's up it's me Lena and I'm back with backstage and guess what guys backstage isn't coming on at 6 p.m. no more it's now coming on at 11 o'clock they're gonna do this next week because it is Friday and they're gonna skip Saturday and Sundays because they don't only sh they don't show that stuff on Saturdays and Sundays they only show it on Monday through Fridays and they're gonna be doing it at 11 which is later than they usually do before because they back then they used to do it on Fridays at 9 o'clock now they're doing it at 11 o'clock which I don't know how that would get them viewers because children do need to go to sleep but like I'm like uh -huh, you know I'm not sleeping you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm doing this video, but yeah. But anyway, my kids do need to go to sleep, and you know they need to go to bed. That's why I got my jammies on. Mills like you should put your jammies on. It's like oh my god, okay, but whatever. But anyway, but yeah, the kids gotta go to sleep. So I don't know how they're gonna try to do this with kids, like in their timing of when they're gonna go to bed and stuff. Cause how are kids gonna watch it live? Because it's coming on at 11 o'clock. That's an hour before midnight. Like kids gotta go up and go to school. So I don't know why they're doing this, but I'm still back. This episode was oh. It was it was filled. It was filled with some drama, as I should say. So it basically started off with Miles was playing guitar and Aaliyah was singing. It was all so sweet, you know, they in love now. They singing, they all happy little lucky. Julie was, you know, cleaning her statues. Austin was on the floor, upset. So Aaliyah and Miles, they were still singing, it was really cute. Then they went to their classrooms, like, oh my god, what happened? Austin's camera was broke. He was like, um, Car uh, Carly was like, well, the school's going to pay for another camera. I'm like, yeah, Carly, like, a school's going to pay for a freaking $3,000 camera. I bet she was $3,000. That's like a Nikon. And he was like, oh, so now you have budget expertise. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. So then they was, like, kind of fighting and stuff. And she was like, well, you don't want me to talk. You don't even want me to, and you don't, not, you don't want me to talk. You don't want me to not talk. So what do you want me to do? So then, Aust no, Vanessa and Sasha heard, heard the arguments. And she was like, <laughs> everything's okay over here. Mm -mm, it was not. All the recordings are gone. Jax didn't back up none of his work because the computers was fried. Because, you know, the fire, the 16th, you know, like the sprinklers just went off straight up. So everything, I didn't even realize how everything was going to get so total, so bad. I didn't, like, really know. But then, you know, they was like, okay, well, y'all just have to work on the harmonies. Boys need more optimistic. And Bianca's like, well, that's not even what Jax is right now because I made him not optimistic no more because, you know, Jenna broke up with him. So she's like, look, I got to talk to him. So then she's like, oh, Mr. Park, we got to leave. This is a hazard to our health. He's like, yeah, true dad, go work somewhere else. But um, after, before that, Austin told Carly that he was sorry. And, you know, he was just a little frustrated. And Carly wished that Sasha and Vanessa had saw that part of him because, you know, he was a little frustrated. I mean, I'll be... I would be furious, and then to know that Carly did it, I would be even more furious. Because I would just be like, okay, my, all the cameras, like, because that was, like, his cameras. What? I don't think he's the only kid in the film, so if he is, it's, like, crazy. But I'm just, like, I would be furious, too, because the school would probably might not pay for it, even though they should be able to pay for it, because they're supposed to pay for everything that's in that school. But, yeah. Anyway, so Jenna was dancing. You know, she was dancing on night, and Sasha and Vanessa just walked straight past it. She said some names and then back. So then she's like, look, she's tired of being unnoticed. Then, she looks so pretty. Julie was watching her. She's like, why is Julie watching me? She, she almost freaking fell because Julie was watching her. And Julie came out, and she's like, get away from me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. She's like, you trying to ruin my life just like how you ruin Maria's life. Then Julie was like, I admire your honesty, girl. Let me hook you up as your coach, my coach. So then she was like, yeah, coach, what? Then she freaking admitted to the dancers having a big plan of humiliating her. I'm like, what's wrong with Jenna? Why would she just straight up just say that? Like, oh, yeah, we love to humiliate you, girl, but then all that happened. Like, she just being straight up honest, I guess. But anyway... She's like, well, um, I lost a friend in the teacher. And she's like, look, she was helping me with Juilliard. And Jenna was like, Juilliard? Really? So she's like, yeah, you really good, so coach me. She's like, well, I'm interested. I'm going to do it. And I was like, that's the longest scene two people has ever had, I think, in the show. Because it was, like, just regularly talking. It was outside and stuff. And I'm just like, you know, that's two different kids from two different sections working together. Yeah. So Carly took a little red heart balloon and was trying to make sure that Austin gave it to her in front of Sasha and Vanessa. But he was just like, what else do you want me to do for you? Because he did it. Then they was just like, okay. So then she was like, that wasn't the fight that shot started. He's like, oh, it gets worse. And that's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And then he was like, well, I'm going to do a TMK test. And then he was like, what is this? How, you know, how does he make you feel? And she's like, he pushes me to do my best. And he's like, oh, so he critiques you. And she was, he was like, you know, um, well, he gives me gifts. And he's like, oh, so he's always feeling guilty. So then she was like, and... He's sweet when we alone. He's like, that don't need no translation. Like, that's just like, you know, can't, you like, like, you know, like, that's like, yeah. Yeah. That's like, not good because it's just like, you know, he's like sweet with her alone. It's, it's like that Desi shot. I can't think of it. 
when they what is that song say my name say my name it's like say my name you know it's like say her name out loud you know what i'm saying yeah but anyway but yeah so carly ended up giving the heart boom back to the other girl that she stole it from and she's like look it's none of y'all business anyway so bianca was trying to tan and you know bianca was like look i think the boys need to help then Aaliyah was like did you mean jack she's like who told you then she's like your face told me bianca and I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. They was all outside. She's like, look, we gonna figure out the harmonies. You can go and go find Jax and talk to him. So she, Miles was doing, no, this one, Miles was doing the harmonies. And Jax like, this won't work, this won't work. And he was like, oh my god, why are you so zen, Miles? Why are you so zen? He's like, I lost everything this semester, my work, my girlfriend, and all this and that. So Miles was telling Jax that, to go to Bianca, because Bianca was gonna give him advice, but... Bianca didn't let him finish because then she just spilled the beans about her telling J Jenna that he cheated on her and all this and that. So then Jax just ran away. So then Miles was like, why are you even talking? Why are you even talking? Why are you saying something? I wasn't even saying that. I was going to say him to get advice from you because you good. So she was just like, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. So then she, she went to Aaliyah. She's like, you put, your boyfriend told Jax that I made Jenna think that he cheated on her. And Aaliyah was like, why you do that, boy? And then she was like, I didn't do that. So then she's like, okay, that's not the point, but it happened. So he they was like, look, Aaliyah chill you know bianca chill and just tell him how you feel and it was outside she's like okay i never seen bianca see like so vulnerable and stuff i'm like oh that's cute meanwhile julie said she was trained until she was nine because they thought dance and her parents thought dance was blocking her academic education and jenna was like well my parents was always supportive but um i kind of it's kind of set the bar low because my brother dropped out of high school to join a cult i know she didn't just say her brother dropped out of high school to join a cult maybe i heard that wrong but i know i didn't because i know when i hear the word cult i know what she talking about i know she didn't say he dropped out of high school to join the cult i know they didn't just say that i i mm. Mm. then um yeah so her and jenna they looked really good dancing you know i thought they was like doing good it was vibing until the other dancers came in and jenna was like oh julie get away from me we're not friends she started acting fake and julie was like I knew it. Not only is it one figure, it's two. No, I'm scared. But yeah. So, Carly was like, you did this, you did this. This is what happened. Carly and Austin was out on TMK. It was official. Then, you know, she's like, I can get kicked out of Prima. She was going off of Vanessa. Like, I would never do that. I would never do that. And Sasha was like, I did it. And I was like, he's like, you need to you need to be taught, treated with respect. And I was like, first of all, he don't even know. First of all, he don't even know. He don't know about none about their relationship. I mean, I've never, I didn't see Austin disrespect her in any type of way before this, before what he did at the end of this episode. It's like, why did Sasha do that? He just assumed that she was getting respect. I'm just like, he don't even know, like, Austin was being an okay person. Because, you know, Carly wants to stay in the closet. You know, Carly wants to, you know, stay in it, like, hide. So I'm just like, I don't know why he did that. Yeah, so Julie was dancing, and Jenna was like, look, my blood sugar was really low, and then Julie was like, look, don't wreck your honesty. She's like, I'm just gonna ask Mrs. Hell's Will, Hell, Hell's Will, she said Hell's Will, to get me another coach. And then Jenna was like, A, she's, she is Hell's Will, and B, and B, she's married. So Jenna was like, look, you wear different clothing, and Julie was like, yeah, I wear different clothing, but what is that don't mean nothing? Like, I, I'm not being fake, I just like wearing clothes like that's not being fake that's not being fake jenna just be straight up being fake she's like look i are you want to be dishonest and afraid i don't want to be dishonest and afraid okay jenna you can do that okay but you gotta choose meanwhile carly told austin he's like okay well it's okay that we out you know can we talk somewhere so then cassandra's like convince me to keep you and she was like do the this routine carly did that was so weird she did that right now everybody was like what's she doing it's like we need to get to class but she did it so then she was like i'll let her you know after the Prima's dance thing. So then she gave her phone back. And I'm like okay. Meanwhile. Jenna was like howdy y'all. And she was like y'all mad at me fainting on with Julie. Because everybody was stretching out. So then she's like look. Hi Julie I'm going to wave at you. She looks so adorable. She's like look I'm friends with Julie Mislani. No pretending no fakeness. She's like I don't want to be ignored. That's a, And she's like that's a big word Tina. And then she was like look. I'm roasting you. I'm roasting you. Sasha you a good dancer. But I'm gaining on you. So then she got down. She's like oh. I think I'm done. Then they stretch. I feel like she should be on, um, she's like a little cute character. I feel like they should, like, book her. Because I know they film in Descendants in Canada. And she reminded me of the girl that played, um, Bippity Boppity Boom, the fairy godmother's daughter. The girl who played fairy, Brianna D D'Amico. She played the fairy godmother's daughter on Descendants, the real life movie. And I feel like they should have her on there playing somebody on it too. Because she's like a little cute character, you know? Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Meanwhile, 
on this commercial. So today I was talking to Lupita Nyong'o all about the new Disney movie, King of Co Queen of Cotway. And I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cute. They had her on there. It just looked like a really good movie. It's like a really good uplifting movie about a girl who really want to reach her dreams by playing a game of chess. And I think that's really going to be good. I'm glad that they showed this. I'm glad Disney made a movie like this. I didn't even know that they was that this was their movie. I kept seeing commercials about it. And I was like, man, it's so cool. And then I was like, Disney did this? And I was like, what? And then Zendaya was just, like, talking to her, you know, vibing with her. You know, Lupita was sharing the story, how she was really happy to be inspired. And she really wanted to do this. And I think it's a really good movie. So y'all should go see that movie, Queen of Cotway. Please. Thank you. Lupita is beautiful, actually, by the way. Like, her skin. But, yeah. So, the girl band was up first. This was way too cute. They were singing, you know... Uh, Bianca was at the front. She was doing a main lead. Everybody was like, ah, oh. And I listened to that, and then she was basically singing a Jackson Jackson's like, wait. Bitch, what? Yeah. Um, he was like, so, she, whoa, she liked me, and I listened to that. And I was like, that was just too cute. So when Bianca was to talk to him, she's like, look, I'm sorry I did a bad thing for a good reason, but you was with the wrong, wrong girl. She's like, I was too scared to say anything when we was at the little play thing. And he was like, what? So you like me? And I'm like, yeah, that's, you didn't hear the speech she just said. She was like, we won't ever be together, but, like, come on, Jax. But anyway, he was like, well, you are, you are amazing, smart, and but you really irritate me. The most irritating person I know and I love you for it. He was like, look, it's always been you, Bianca. Jenna's a nice girl, but it's always been you. And she's like, why did you say that before? And I'm like, who's going to tell Jenna that Bianca freaking lied? And then she broke up her heart. Like, she stole her man. Like, what the heck? Anyway, but yeah. So, Cassandra was letting someone go. I knew it was going to be Sasha. I knew it, because Sasha, he outed her for no reason. And she's like, I'm letting you, Sasha. She's like, look, the premiums are supposed to be able to trust each other, and you let your trust down. So, Carl's like, this is the best day of my life. But then she's like, it's the worst day, because Sasha got kicked out. I'm like, no. I know you was about to be mean yesterday, but Sasha did that on his own terms. I know he was trying to do it for good, but what was that going to do? That was none of his business. He did that on his own terms. So, then she was like, okay, whatever. She was like, it's probably not the best day, but... Yeah, and I'm just like, he did that by himself, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even freaking matter. But yeah, so beyond, no, Carly went to Austin hugging him, and he was like, oh, he really didn't hug her back. And I'm like, okay. So then he was like, yo, I'm happy about your little dance group thing. And she was like, and I'm happy that you, get, he was like, I'm happy you get to be able to have a boyfriend, but that boyfriend won't be me. And he's like, look, after that whole TMK thing come out, came out, I know I don't want to be serious right now, but we can still, like, hang out, but with a little less time. She's like, well... Um, he wanted to keep it on the down low. So then she was like, well, can I still be a girlfriend? He's like, yeah, but we won't call it that. And I'm like, then what are you going to call it? Your friend? Or, like, your side piece? I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, the, her, if she's not his girlfriend, then that's just his friend. Unless some friends with benefits things going on. Because then if it's that, then I'm just like, these kids need to go do something. But, yeah, so I'm just like, okay... Okay, so Carl's like, Austin, no thanks. He's like, what? And she was like, I need respect. And I'd rather be myself than be with someone like you. And then she walked out. They played this little cute reggae music when she walked out. But yeah, that was the end. I'm just like, okay, well, that was just really weird. He wanted to, what did he want from her? Like, what is he going to get from her? As I'm just not, like, what is that? Like, what? What, freak hugs and kisses or something? Like, he sound like some grown man, like, oh, I don't, I'm, no, I'm look, just looking for a side chick or something. Like, what's wrong with him? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts on the new time, the kind of sort of, yeah, the new time, and if you like this episode, and comment your age. I want to see how old you guys are. I'm like 17. I just turned 17. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you so old. Like, I'm like, be quiet. And I just saw that recently that other people do backstage reviews too. So I'm not the only one that watch backstage. Other people watch it too. They do reviews on it. You guys can go check that out. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to check out other videos too. Because we do other videos and they are pretty awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. What?